Hi Cancer, welcome to your Harsh Truth reading for February 28th through March 14th. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below as per usual. Damn it. I get forgetting sassy. King of Pentacles. Uh, this could be you going solo for a while, focusing on just your security and stability for the future. Or this could be somebody that is coming down the pike for you that you're going to encounter. Mm -hmm. All right. Cancer. Cancerian. Knight of Pentacles. This could be a Taurus. This could also be a stable, solid, secure offer in question, whether you're offering it or receiving it. This could be you just focusing on the physical, either relationships or just money and tangible things and kind of being solo. Um, maybe you feel stuck. Maybe you feel like an offer's taken forever. Uh, it could also be just a physical relationship with someone could be you going okay this is what I've got to offer and I'm kind of waiting for someone to be able to match that to meet me at that and then we'll see about going forward they're in no hurry Oops. all right that's gonna bug me I'm, okay there we go all right that didn't mean anything per se I just wanted to get it not being blurry anymore all right we've got justice judgment wow Justice, Judgment, Karma Cards, Holy Cow, and we got the Hierophant. We've got Eight of Cups, ouch. Seven of Cups, we The Three of Lady, the Empress. <laughs> okay. All right, what's this? Okay, so we've got a Reckoning coming here. Or, you know what, maybe this is that you don't, both of these cards are about karma. Um, maybe it's that you just want the scales to be balanced so you can move forward. Maybe you just want someone to come and say they're sorry, or maybe you feel like, you know what, I'm coming into my own. Hmm, okay. Maybe you're feeling like the right thing to do is to walk away here. Wow, that's, okay. What's this, what's this Libra about? No, what's this justice about? This is justice about. Wow, Cancer, this is a solitary position. This because you've got you're pretty, you're kind of soul searching about what your future is going to be about your future security, what you want. Um, maybe you're thinking about you know the best course of action right now is for me to kind of be single and to pull back and to think about things. This is very high priestess ish in that sense. Um, being able to take care of yourself and provide and almost finding solace in that because you're, you're kind of on this soul searching journey here and it's, it's very slow progress. This is about being stagnant, stuck or very slow progress, but it is stable and steady. So this is karmic review here. This feels like, and I think that's what you're wanting. I don't think you're wanting a second chance. I don't think you're wanting a reunion here. I also don't think, I think you might be tired of kind of being in review of your culpability of feeling guilty and you'd rather just like, all right, what do I just, what do I need to do? What I'm just, I want to move forward here. What's this judgment about? What's this judgment about for cancer? Oh, okay. So this could be. It's hard to move on, isn't it? <laughs> uh, this could be about that karmic review that you're feeling disconnected from the marriage and it's karma. It's the way things are supposed to pan out. You don't like it, but you're realizing that alas, an ending has happened, but there's stagnation in this. So the realization, the judgment, the, the reflection, the reckoning has been that yes, there is a disconnect and being cut off from this person. We are no longer connected. I just haven't been able to move forward. That's what this is saying here. And I, you don't seem to, yeah, I think you're over that. I think you're tired of this. You're over it. You're like, all right, I get it. We're not supposed to be together. I get it. We're cut off right now. We're, we're separated right now. 
Obviously, I need to be by myself and to think about things, but this is a very proactive position. This is not. This is realizing something, but then being stuck. It, that has its place, right? But this is all about you going, okay, I don't want to be stuck anymore. I want to move forward. I want to figure stuff out, but I want to be able to take care of myself too. What's this? What is this here a fan about? Because we got, this is solitary, 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 solitary. And then we got marriage. What? What? This is here a phantom about. That could be Taurus. This could be Taurus. Are you dealing with the Taurus? This is here a phantom about. One more. What's this here a phantom about? I'm going to laugh if a Knight of Pentacles comes up. King of Wands. God, that showed up in Pisces reading too. In the same exact position. Okay. The, we got a marriage. Um, these same exact cards showed up in Pisces reading. Just saying. Okay? Just saying. Someone taking the leadership role and figuring what needs to take place. Is this relying on faith? Are you still thinking about your marriage to this type of person? Not doesn't have to be a Sagittarius. Uh, it could also be an Aries or Leo. It doesn't have to be a fire sign person. This could just be someone that was very dynamic and charming and sexy and wanted different things in life than you, okay? Earth and fire, um, very different energies. And you, this is just realizing, you know, unless this person takes a leadership role in this relationship, there, there's nothing for me here anymore. I get it, we're disconnected, we're cut off, we don't fit. But this is thinking about that committed connection or that sort of spiritual connection you might have to this person and starting to cut things off. Cutting the cord, starting to cutting things off here. This is marriage, faith, control. Could be a card of restriction and control. And maybe this is a fire sign person that you're just like, no, doesn't have to be. Again, it could be somebody with that quality, but you're just like, I just don't, I don't want this connection to this person controlling me anymore. I need to start cutting things off. I need to just say what's on my mind. I need to start doing what I need to do for me. So this could be you reviewing this connection to this type of personality. It could be male or female and starting to make the necessary um, excisions, if you will, like cutting things off and just stopping that way of thinking and cutting the connection and starting to be very um, logical and like, okay, I just need to be decisive about this. I need to do the right thing here. What's this Eight of Cups? Oh, we got walking away. All right. Yeah, because look at this right here. This is a relationship in review. This is doing the right thing. Realizing the right thing is to be in review, reflection, solitary mode right now. What's this Eight of Cups? So I need to go. I need to take time out to think about things and to review things. This is hard for me. It's painful, but I need to do this. What's this Eight of Cups? Oh, wow. I think you're hoping for a second chance. You're walking away, but still hopeful that there might be a second chance. I think that's what this is about, too. It's like you realize that there's been, or maybe you don't want it to be so that, okay, I get there's an ending. I just don't want to be stuck. I still want there to be hope and forward movement. I mean, who doesn't? And this is hopeful, but again, very slow and steady progress. This light Look at this light right here. Like it's it's lighting the way, but it's very slow movement forward. And it's only lighting so much so that they can only take one step at a time. This is very slow progress. It is proactive though. However, it's not uncontrolled, right? Um, look at the star here. <laughs> Bam! I mean, it's like the biggest one in the sky. And this is speaking to perhaps healing over time or perhaps things working out over time. Maybe this is just like, I need to go for now. I don't know. Walking away, hoping that you made the right decision. No more confusion, no more regrets. You don't want to have to keep thinking about this and keep beating yourself up over it, right? This is the three of lady. What is the empress about? This could be Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Are you dealing with the Taurus? Taurus, three of, or the empress here. What's the empress about? We got 11, two, okay, so we got two twos. That's agreement. Um... We got a five, a seven, a three, and an eight, and then, okay. This is Empress about, don't do that. Don't be rude. Empress.
course, for cancer. Wow. Oh. Okay. Uh, couple of things. Everybody's situation is different. This could be you thought you had the perfect relationship and it ended and you're still grieving over it, honestly. You're trying to be proactive about cutting things off and cutting things out. Um, it's going to be slow going. Okay, it's hard. All right. Also, this could be because we've got your stability and progress forward on your mind. You realize it's going to be a slow process, but this could be, all right, since I have made the necessary cuts and just really trying to move on and put things into perspective, I'm entering into this prosperous phase. It's bittersweet because on the one hand, this is a relationship that you want or that you thought you had. I mean, look at this. You were hopeful and this was pretty heavy duty. We got one, two, three, sorry, three, four. Okay. Major arcana here out of seven. I mean, that's it's kind of etched in stone <laughs> um, and pretty transformational. So on the one hand, it could be, I really thought we had something here. I'm walking away for now, but I'm still holding out hope, but uh, this is kind of coming to terms with that. This is also this right here, this queen of pentacles and, um, and Taurus, this queen of pentacles and uh, empress, very similar energy here. Abundant, being able to take and create for yourself, prosperous, uh, thriving. So it looks like this is a relationship in review for you and you're going to come to your own conclusions. There's going to be movement and progress forward, but you've also got something else on the side that you're either working on or success with that is going to be a byproduct of you kind of going through the fire with this, kind of dealing with this ending here because you're you're really working on trying to cut the ties and the emotional connection. This is that about walking away from that emotional connection. And I think to some degree, this has been holding you back. This is very isolated right here. So perhaps you've been not very social, not connecting with friends or family. And this is the beginning stages of starting to come back, so to speak, because this could be about you realizing, you know, I've got a lot to give. It just can't be to this situation anymore. This is abundant and thriving, not with this. This is you realizing that I just need to cut this off. I can have the perfect relationship or a really great nurturing relationship, but this is not it anymore. And I need to separate the two. My ability to have that and my ability to think that this was the only one because I was that or because it was that. No, two separate things. You can have that and create that. It doesn't have to be only connected to what you once had with this person. It, the two can be mutually exclusive here. So you can create this again. The fact that this is in this position talks about you being capable of that, just not with this. But there's a, probably grieving and mourning here in realizing that it is actually over. Because here you're starting to realize, well, I just need to make some cuts and change my thinking. And then here it's like, nope, nope, damn, no. This is, that's pretty final. There's no coming back from this. All right. Cancer. Cancer. This right here is much of the same about this being in review, having doubts, having regrets, reckoning. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. Oh, I feel so horrible. This is more proactive. Sometimes this can be like, okay, beating ourselves up here. This is confusion, um, being overwhelmed not progressing moving forward because you can't make a decision and a choice you're done with that you're like no i'm done feeling like i'm in limbo i'm ready to move on i'm ready to move forward it hurts i'm still hopeful here but i realize the more i review and think about it that i can still have that just not with this relationship anymore cancer Pisces kind of had a very similar reading, just saying. Okay, if you two are dealing with each other. <laughs> wow. Fork in the road. Being indecisive no longer, perhaps. Um, hmm. This doesn't bear any... This, this is the way I'm reading it, and then I'll read the book. I don't think this is worth any more of the him and ha and going back and forth. I think you have your answer. It's just difficult and emotional, and it, like I said, it's hard to move on, isn't it? <laughs> um... But I, I don't think this is worth your energy or time anymore. This is like basically 
you're able, this is all about you with this energy, just not for this anymore. Because if this wasn't clarified, it'd be like, look at, you're on the precipice. Like you are ready to go. You got everything you need to create, to nurture, to attract abundance, to attract that person that's going to give back what you can give. And then we've got that right here. And it's like, yeah. And then bam. So this is all about yes, but not with this person. Not with this person, whoever this is. All right. What is that? Fork in the road. You've come as far as you can on this part of your journey, and now you're faced with a choice. Inherent in this choice is the need for change, evolution, and for a bettering of your circumstances. Narrow it down to just a single question. Who do I need to become, and what do I need to believe in order for to live a life of prosperity? Answer honestly and from the heart. Then the decision about which way to go will be effortless. Know that abundance is all around you choose to see it and it will be easier to settle on a direction for the way is made clear by your intuition which knows how to steer you towards your well-being okie dokie this that is like this right here being on the precipice for abundance it's just you have to go in this is about going inward and figuring out which is the best way to go so that you can step into this energy all right Two more. Two more. Cancer. Cancer. I gotta be careful saying, oh, Pisces was like this, because all of a sudden I'm like, oh, Pisces. And I start going to, no, no, focus. Cancer. Oh my gosh, Pisces got this very same card in the very same position. This can be Pisces because look at the fish just saying all right um hmm this could be a card of someone being deceptive and sneaky and strategic and manipulative right but we have this is somebody that is killing it in work this is somebody that if you focus on work Whatever work you're focusing on, and I, I tend to think this is your nine to five, you're just killing it. You're ready to go. This is part of this equation right here. Okay, I am a prosperous, abundant, creative person, male or female. I have got this. I'm ready, just not with this relationship. But I've got this in love and in career and in money. Okay, so this right here speaks to um, success with your job because the fox also represents your job. So this is all about solitary position work doing the work whatever you're working towards there's going to be success abundance and prosperity wealth so this is the the financial success card and this is the work card so right now your energy needs to be on yourself um, spiritually and kind of in review of that area but also whatever your nine to five is whatever your work is looks really really good <laughs> okay so don't uh don't discount that. Let that be a source of um, confidence for you if you're feeling kind of low. Let it also be a distraction, right? Because that part, look at this. We got the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles here. That's your mm, prosperous. Oh, and this, the Knight of Pentacles. Hello. An offer of money. I mean, all we're missing is the Ace of Pentacles, right? All right. Looks real good. Okay. And this is unattached. As far as love to, this is unattached. This is an open relationship, a fluid. So all this right here, you are not meant to be attached right now. You're meant to be solely focusing on yourself and improving yourself. And whatever you're setting your mind to right now, whatever you're working on actively, looks really good. Right. Cancer. I thought we pulled one of these cards. Yay. Yes, good. That kind of doubles down on this right here. Um, this is all about being in tune, finding your why, finding your what and your how, um, things flowing, things being synchronistic. This also is speaking to balance might be needed because while you've been in support of others, sometimes you need to be able to break away and do your own thing. So it's all about harmony and balance. And if you feel yourself starting to kind of be the one that's more in support of others, 
you need to step back and make it work for you too because balance is the key right now. That's the whole point of this review and being in perspective is that so you can regain some footing and balance and know your worth and know what you're, you've got to move forward. This isn't about you blending in and being in service of others. This is about you stepping into your own. You're kind of done with being in service of other karma either serves or it, there was another, anyway, this is not about you being in service anymore, only into yourself. Okay. Um, could be suggesting to you that part of the reason why it didn't work was because the balance was off that you felt maybe you did a lot more than you were getting back. You really need to pull back and, and put that energy in towards yourself with what you want, because this looks, I mean, honestly, the fish and the fox, like success with work, lots of money, success, wealth, work, security. Okay. All right. Cancer. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope to see you in the next reading. Um, I'm glad for the progress, progress and the movement forward, honestly. It might be glacial, but it is assured. And nothing but good things await. It's solitary, so you might be like, eh. Some of you might be welcome, you know, might welcome that though after, especially if the relationship was imbalanced. You might be like, yeah, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for a break. Just want to be by myself for a while, sort things out. Okay. Um... Thank you for stopping by. I hope this was helpful. I hope to see you in the next reading. Take care.